Kimo, what are we doing? Cutting tags? T keeping tags. You return all your clothes? No, buddy. Yeah, you wear it and then return it, huh? I wish. One of them. One of them! It's a Hawaii thing. Aloha, welcome to It's a Hawaii Thing. You got Lanai, and that's Brooke Lee. Today we got a very special guest on the show. This will be a funny one. He's from uh, Pearl City, Hawaii. Whoa! <laughs> hey, <laughs> you're not allowed to talk Die. yet. You're not allowed to talk until I give you an int introduction. Uh, he worked on the movie Saw, I hope. Uh, Live Free or Die Hard. Hancock. Uh, Meet Dave. He al he's also a producer. He's a funny guy. Don't mistake him with Andre Agassi. Agassi. Ladies and gentlemen, Tori Mel. Hey, what's up, Lanai? He's also uh, Brooke's <laughs> other half. I'm not happy about yeah. any yes. of this right now. How are you doing? Hawaii. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. You know, I'm super glad that your <laughs> roster is so, you know, stacked that you're able to fit me in. Well, what happened was, uh -huh. Brooke and I have been doing this for a while now. And, you know, we argue a lot. Yeah. And I have a good time when you're involved. <laughs> I'm a mediator because I yeah. side with you and attack yeah. my wife. <laughs> Wow. This is no, great. But news. I really have a good time. I have a better time when you're here. Yeah. And not just, just me and her. You smile. So wow. I smile more. Wow. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. <laughs> How you been? I've been good. You know, I live here. You now. look good. I feel great. I've well, so I've lost 60 pounds, but gained like. 25 Can we? Well, I hope we did. We hit photos of this because I'd like to put the photos up because you did it in dramatic fashion. You yeah. did it in like a month or something. I did. So I lost 30 pounds in a month and uh -huh. then another 30 in another month. And then that was kind 60 because you look like a totally different person. Are you yeah. going to say anything? Nope. <laughs> you look like a yeah. totally different I've, person. So I have gained back. So my lowest I got. So I started at 257. But I, you're getting muscle now. Yeah. Oh so I got God. down to 188 uh -huh. and then I looked really bad. Like I was too skinny <laughs> and it was creepy and I was like pasty. So I was like, shoot, I got it. I thought you were sick at her I birthday. Was, I was sick for her. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Brooke's 50 now. <laughs> Oh, oh we weren't, we, you know, we weren't supposed to say that. I'm looking up legal We're gonna Zoom beep, as beep we speak. That out. Like, I think where are the divorce the papers? <laughs> because where every, do they every, start? every single thing that Brooke's ever done, she's like, I was the oldest person to win Miss Universe. <laughs> How old were you when you won, Google? Brooke was 26 years old. What year was that, Google? 1997, Google. See? Oh, uh, boy. How long have you guys been married? This will be 15 years this year. How long if did you date before that? If we make it that far... That? I'm Googling. How long did you guys date Siri, before that? how do you spell divorce? We, we met <laughs> June of 06, got married August of 06, uh -huh. pregnant September of 06. Wow, you got dates. And then uh, <laughs> Finnegan, our firstborn, was born May 25th, 2007. So this will be our 15-year anniversary, nice. August 12th. Wow. I'm not counting. I know. We should. I've been counting it every day. He since seems day happy. One. He seems happy. And it, it gets it gets longer and longer, <laughs> and longer each it's year. It's dog years. Where did you so guys meet? Really? Um, work release program. I was uh, <laughs> in prison and uh, goals. No, yeah. we, we had we had a mutual friend. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Um, you know her. Who who is it? She worked on a show that you did here. Oh yeah. N uh, Nicole Solomon. Nicole Solomon. I know that name. Yeah, she's the, the wild Jew. The redheaded girl <laughs> that you guys did that travel show with, with Kaolena and. Oh my goodness! That's crazy. That's, yeah, that's so that's she's an time. old childhood friend of mine. Okay. Brooke worked with her. I was working on a movie called Balls of Fury, which was. A oh funny my goodness! Carrie what a, yeah, what a great yes. Um and uh. Kerry Tagawa. We my cousin was in it. Show. Baron Tabora. Really? Yes. What did he do in it? Stunt. He was a stunt guy. Oh, that's rad. Yeah. Oh. Balls of Fury. We That's probably kissed. Mm. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, no, and she called me out of the blue because her and her boyfriend at the time, a dude named Abe Ben Ruby. Go ahead, drop that. I just names. dropped that famous name. He Wait a like, minute, you dated the guy? No, no, no. This is Nicole. Oh, Nicole, Nicole okay. and her boyfriend both clear. knew me separately, and okay. then they were talking about me. They <laughs> called me out of the blue, and I don't care for conversation, so I was just like, "Who's hot and who's your friend?" And she's like, well, I have a friend named Brooke. She's pretty hot. I'm like, is she on MySpace? Oh, MySpace. Now you're aging yourself. Yeah. What so is MySpace? It's Friendster. Okay. No. <laughs> now I'm <laughs> really a old. different name. Um, and no, and I, I, I looked her up. I'm like, yo, she's hot. And I sent her a, a little. Wait, wait. Did you know who she was? No. Like Miss no Universe? Idea. No, you didn't know. No. So I slid into those before they were DMs and sliding into things. No. I slid into everything. Um, hello, USA. Help me, Hawaii. Um, no, I sent her a message that was hysterical because I'm the world's greatest writer. And she was, <laughs> she was dumb enough to write me back. 
Oh. And uh, and then that was it. Those are words. She was like deathly ill when we first started talking. She had like strep throat and she just got back from like, you know, Stad or Istanbul or I don't know wherever. <laughs> Wait, was so it was right after Miss Universe? No, oh, no, no, that was 1997. This is uh, this is 2006. So this oh, is like, okay. you know, nine years later. So she's on the tail end of, you know, yeah. her glory. Clearly. But, no, but gonna, you, you li- have a good track record of dating. We're yeah, really you know. going to bring up the bench. No, we don't I'm, need to bring up the bench. Well, just one of them because I want to know. Oh, Lord. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. We don't need to talk no? about that. No? I no, can't. that's like gossipy stuff. It's but not gossip. So here's what I'll tell you. Oh, wow, okay. Is, uh, it's a, a famous person who's beautiful. We, it's oh, I Angelina mentioned. Jolie. Yeah. Yes, we had like a one-month like, wonderful, like, you know, I guess. No, but that's good company. To be yeah. in. What does that even mean? It's not a harem. For a guy's, for a, like you, you're but in you the caliber. To, you got to marry me. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So, got yeah. It. You don't look at the, everything half full, not half I empty. Win. Yeah. yeah, but you know, I like, <laughs> she did not remember me, you know, 20 years no, later. This was the beauty of this whole story. When, when oh. we come back, Look, no, I, oh, we're gonna come back. We're, we're gonna do. come back. All right, gonna, don't go anywhere. Yeah. Talking about Tori and, and uh, Angelina Jolie. Yeah, it's a Hawaii thing. Is it a Hawaii thing? <laughs> it's, an, it's an LA thing. <laughs> Bringing you what matters. Viewers can receive the Star Advertiser digital full access subscription for just nine ninety five per month. Go to StarAdvertiser.com and click on subscribe. Use the code A H I thing. HEC Medical Clinic, Dr. Aries Oda, Hawaii's number one laser weight loss center for weight loss, reverse diabetes, and heart disease. Call today for your limited time special, only $37. Lose one to two inches instantly. Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing. We're hanging out with Tori Mel. This and you've got to uh, bring up the ghosts of like dating past, huh? I mean, it's a hot topic. Okay. I'm a hot topic. Yeah. It well, was a hot I'm topic. A, I'm a fan of hers. So am I. Yeah. Of me? Of you. Yeah. My wife. I'm a so fan beautiful. of yours, too. That's why you're here. Mm. Me, yeah. too. Okay. I'm a fan of you, and I can't wait for another 15 years with you. Okay. Thanks for wait, tuning in, everybody. Finish, finish the it. story. So, so you yeah, guys so, ran into her? Yeah. Yeah, so okay. I, I dated Angelina Jolie for like a month, and it wasn't like so much dating, but we were together every day, and we would talk every day for like hours on end, and she was engaged at the time, and it was a long story, and it was weird and horrible. Wait, wait, wait. She was engaged at the time? No, Angelina Jolie. <laughs> I didn't know what, that. Why attention. were you talking to her while she was engaged? His Her uh, fiancé was like a wedding and she was like I love you and I'm like that's fine but if you love me don't marry him because you said you love me why am I even here <laughs> I wish then, it would have been her and I we would have been happier and I wouldn't be in Hawaii it's a Hawaii so can yeah, we just yeah. get to the good part okay which so is then we, what happened we so jumped to CVS here's here's I remember it clear as day well hold on and it wasn't CVS it was uh, okay. outside of Whole Foods oh, Whole Foods whatever um I always like before we left I'm like hey you know you're the best I love you don't forget about me and this is like a thousand years ago Okay. She's Thousand. like, you're the best. I love you. Goodbye. Right. So, and I won't. I always wondered if she remembered, Forgot would it. ever remember me uh-huh. at all. At all. And literally 20 years later or whatever. Let me set the scene. Yeah. Go ahead. So I'm sitting in the car with my kids and he's coming out of that thing. And I see this paparazzi like drama coming out of this white van. And I can tell it's her because she's got a brood of kids and security Uh and I'm watching it in slow motion I'm like they're about to collide because here comes my husband and here comes the Jolie pit world and I'm like let me get out my popcorn and sure enough they cross and he's like looking at her and she's just trying to get past him and he's like Angelina no No, he's like Angie Angie I I didn't what are you talking yeah, like no, I'm a paparazzi? No, but you were like she crossing. was she was coming out of whole f- so we parked next Brooke and I have this weird thing. Where I where, see it totally different than he does. Well, obviously. No, no, no. Right. Wherever we park anywhere on planet Earth, whenever we go to a car, the whoever's next parked is, next to us, sorry, is always entering their car. Or getting out or trying or, to yeah. park. It's a weird thing. It's really weird. It's a Hawaii yeah. thing. Yeah. Anyways, um, <laughs> so I'm, we're now in the car and I'm about to get into the car, but they're parked next to me and her bodyguard and security is like standing there. Uh-huh. Super nice dude. And I'm like, oh, you can get in. He's like, oh no, I'm waiting. I was like, okay. She's coming out of Whole Foods and I'm going into my car and I see her and I was like, Angie, not Angie, Angie, okay, Angie, 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 okay. Angie. He's like tries to engage and she's like looking at him and he's like, and she's like, I need a context. Give me a context. And I'm sitting oh, there so in the car. she cart. knows, but she, she doesn't know. She, I think I'm like, because mm-hmm. I was so familiar with the Angie, uh-huh. she must have, and I was <laughs> maybe uh, 
Busted. A, mil, a hundred pounds busted heavier than Bradley when it, Cooper. Totally busted. <laughs> that was who I am. Busted Bradley Pri Cooper. Back when, I, when I was dating her, I was like 150 pounds. Uh -huh. And when she saw me, I'm like 240 pounds. Okay. Bald. Bald. I used to have like bright bleached white Married. hair uh -huh. with like a weird Life dumb goatee. Life had beaten goatee. him down. Okay. I looked I'm busted. About so there, no one would recognize <laughs> me. As, well, I didn't recognize you exactly. six months ago. So, but uh, I was like, Angie, she's like, I need a context. Give me a context. Yeah. And so I give her the context and she's like, hey, and we give a hug and kiss on the cheek and you know, goodbye. And I get in the car and I look at Brooke and she looks at me and I'm like, she has no idea. Who I am. <laughs> and I'm like, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. I'm sure she's thought of she's thought so, about it. Well, this is this is what I was then Not thinking. Either. So this is now my my next thought obsession is now I'm like, when she got in that car, is she was she like talking with whoever and like I know I know him, but where do I know yeah, him yeah, from? Yeah, yeah, guarantee. And is that driving her crazy? And then 20 years later, I'll be like, Angie, Whole Foods? <laughs> like, oh. uh, <laughs> oh, that's so classic. What yeah. a great story. Yeah, super. She was the nicest girl in the world. Almost yeah. as nice as Brooke. Actually, she's probably more pleasant to be around than you. <laughs> oh. Boy, my, this is turning into a therapy uh, session, huh? My wife's so angry. <laughs> I said, I said, Who are you talking to? I know, but I don't hang out with Lanai enough oh, to know his, his what come makes on, you come angry. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Nobody believes me. Yeah. Oh, they believe you. I see the comments on Facebook. Hawaii. She's sweet, just don't cross her. Yeah, yeah. That's, I think, the, the lesson mad. we've all learned. That's just yeah. Korean 101. Totally. And have we talked about you and BTS on this show oh yet? Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> every show. I want, to, I want to blow my face up. <laughs> I really do. Uh, boy, you can't even say uh, K-pop because that's not BTS. No. Yeah, she it's BTS. Upset. They've transcended, as Brooke was saying. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. We're going to take a quick commercial. Don't go anywhere. Hanging out with Tori. I it's a Hawaii you, thing. I love you. <laughs> this show is brought to you by Atlas Construction, Hawaii's number one builder for eight years in a row. Call them at 808-951-9500 for the quality and service you deserve today. Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing. Tori hanging out with us. This is uh, so uncomfortable. Brooke's other half, by the way. Better. So those of you just better joining, the better half. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Too. More handsome <laughs> half. Yeah. Comfortable. Yeah. What's it like being married to like just the most beautiful man? On <laughs> it's exhausting. I know. To be quite honest, Boy, and everyone at home Boy, would like to know. This is crazy because we have the most beautiful man and Miss Universe. Cool. You know what's great? I'm I'm a real like I'm the story. This monster fell in love and and managed to trick this beautiful creature into marrying him. <laughs> You're a good con artist. That's <laughs> right. Is, yeah. I am a, I, it's the best. And and I quickly made a baby happen in her. And now it's 15, wow. 15, now 15 years later. Shackled. Yeah. I, you know, the, I, I remember just got the first time. I and mansplained in my own life on my own Boom. show. You're I, welcome. That's like meta. The that's first like time, next level. The first time you told me you started, <laughs> you guys started dating, I remember. And I asked you if it was a holy guy and you said he's a Jew. And I said, oh, you're in trouble. And you said, no, something about um, you're going to be rich or something. I would have And here I am in beautiful Hawaii. <laughs> First of all. First of all, not only am I the greatest Jew on planet Earth, uh -huh. my wife is like, I'm so lucky I married a Jewish man <laughs> just because you're so beautiful and hairy. <laughs> and, and, and I get to nair the hair off your back every now and then. She's oh, really lucky. You, so you wrote a book. I did. I wrote a book. What's my, the name of the book? My first novel. It's a novella. It's called Spaceship Earth. Okay. It's a ya book. What's YA? Uh, young adult, right? Is that what YA stands for? Yeah. Y it's a YA book. Yeah. Okay. Because I like my, I'm yeah. not smart enough to. And what's it, what is it about? <laughs> it's based, I had an idea a long time Ten ago. 10 years ago. More 20 years ago. Wait a minute. Is this the one you told me you were going to do a movie and I was going to be in it with the clown? No, that's Clown Town. <laughs> So I'm still working on that. I'm just, uh, you'll be in it. Don't worry. If anyone clown watching town. wants to give me a million and a half bucks, we can make this happen. It's I got called a beautiful Clown one. Town. It's about clowns who murder people, right? Clowns versus carnies. Oh, okay. The, uh, yeah, the yeah. eternal struggle between them. You were going to put him in the movie? Yeah, yeah. we, he, we gonna, talked about this like a gonna year ago. You're going to kill Lanai. It's your dream. Yeah. <laughs> I put you in it. You can kill him. <laughs> um, I'm uh, finding the financing tomorrow. Done. This would be great. And we could just do it over so and over and over. So the book's not about the clowns. No, it's not. It's a science fiction book that I'm definitely not smart enough to write, but I had an idea over 20 years ago and I was like, I understand the idea of infinite and infinity and going on, but like wrapping your head around what that is. And so I thought about space is, you know, infinite and it just goes on forever. So yeah. I'm like, how rad would it be if someone just was like, you know, a rich guy who's able to do this, build a ship and just go on a journey for the rest of his life and for generations to come. Isn't that Star Trek? 
No, they're exploring uh, but you're bold you're, new spaces. You're, speaking of, you're connected to Star Trek. In a I sense. am. Yeah. I am. So science fiction's in my DNA. I, I was a producer at Roddenberry Entertainment, the, the family that created Star Trek for Amazing. like eight years. Yeah. And I still go help out and do And the first time I met you, you don't remember, do you? You were at the Star Comic Trek. Comic Con. In, yeah, yeah. In San Diego? San Diego. But I I, we knew each other, but we never met each oh, other. Oh, that's right. right. But when we met each other, it was at Comic-Con. I think we I still have your Funko Pop, uh, Aloha. Yeah, that. Yeah. I think I still have Worth one of those. Worth money now. I'm so if you didn't take it out of the box. I didn't get one. He no. gave him one, yeah. but he didn't give me one. Because you wouldn't appreciate me it. one. Yeah, you don't he like toys. He appreciates it. Whatever. Yeah. I know. Well, good for you. So anyways, it's about uh, you know this dude whose <laughs> journey. I'm going to put us back on track to sell my Please do. Look. Yeah. Uh, and he basically uh, gathers a crew of a thousand people, families, scientists, uh, people from all walks of life, uh, get on the ship. And throughout time, the uh, they build the ship and it keeps growing and growing to uh, accommodate the ever-growing population that is growing. Uh, and it basically becomes, uh, you know, a the big planet giant Earth. planet Earth. How long did you take writing this? I... I started writing it, started writing it like 20 years ago. I got like yeah. two chapters in and then I like would look at it like once a year and I'm like, nope, nope, nope. Yeah. And then when we moved here, it's a Hawaii thing. Um, I was so excited uh, <laughs> that I just sat down. I'm like, you know what? September of 2019, I'm going to finish the book. I sat down. It took me uh, five months to do. You get in this groove. Yeah. Yeah, and I was in it, and I'm like, this is great. Five months to do it. Took me about a year to edit it. Uh, and then I kind of just finished it uh, earlier this year. Are you self-publishing? I am self-publishing. Um, yeah. I'm using a company called Draft to Digital, which is amazing. Uh, it's coming up on a, it's it's out now. You can get it on Amazon, Barnes and Noble, any ebook store. Wait, wait, your book's out now. Right now, as we speak, you could get my book, Spaceship Earth by Tori Bell. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Help me. it's available anywhere you can get. And, a, and what e section would you find it at Barnes and Nobles? A porn, adult <laughs> porn. No, uh, it's you. You have to order it from them. Go to your Barnes and Noble. Say I want Spaceship Earth, or just go to Amazon and you can get uh, print copies. You can get digital copies. He's doing the long game. Her. What you don't understand yeah. is he he writes these things to option it for movies later. That's well, that's all a great idea. No, I'm not interested in making money on the book. Anne Rice I want like I want to make Harry a TV Potter show. Lady. My story's yeah. brilliant. The yeah. writing is great for you kids. All yeah. of Toy, you have, all of are you um what do you call it um pregnant no are you, you have like pictures in it and stuff is there illustration no, just no there's a dope ass cover done by uh jeff holdman right did i say his name right uh, probably and uh oh toy uh rendered it and it's uh it's awesome dude right. check it out spaceship earth right here it's a hawaii thing i'm lanai that's brooke uh, we'll, we'll see be you right next back. time. We'll be right back. Wow, just took over the show. <laughs> Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing. Tori hanging out with us today. Tori's and, my uh, husband. You, yes. can, you can hear the excitement. You can Look, hear the excitement hands. in her voice we're when she said that. Hand. Nope. Uh. <laughs> it's Go a, get his new book. What is it called? Thing. Spaceship Earth. You can get it anywhere uh, ebooks are sold. And if you Spaceship go to Spaceship Earth. Are you going to uh, do an audio book? You know, people oh. keep wanting me to. You should. You Don't have a great voice. If I it. if I learn how to read, <laughs> <laughs> you wrote Space. it. You should be able to. The final say frontier. Here, give him his shirt. Oh, oh we, we do it at the end of the show, but oh, okay. Sorry. Wow, she just she really wants <laughs> she me wants to get, to get, get, out, get of out of here. Out of here yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ! We have a gift for you, Tori. What's this Party gift? gift right I here. love this. Yeah, is I it recognize my turn? this bag. He's a size medium now. What size is that? These are double XL. My goodness. Hey, at least it's a it's a. I'm projecting. You know who's team? I'm on your team. You um, notice I said medium. Yeah, yeah. So double so totally. Yeah. How dare These are you. 88Ts. We love 88Ts. I love 88Ts. Uh, when Brooke first, uh, when we first came here, she's like, you got to come check out this uh, store. And it was 88Ts. Uh, and I, this was 15 years ago. And I've been loving uh, their merch ever since. Yeah, Lukey, knows, yeah Lukey, right? Yeah. She's the best. Right they're cool. They got. Yeah. All, they have like a million designs. Yeah. A, a million. And a million. I never see double. Like I go in there and there's yeah. like thousands of shirts and they're all different. No, all but different. really, Tori, you should do an audio version. It's like Don't everyone. Don't encourage him. On, what are you doing? What is that app? Audiobooks? Uh, Audible? Audible. Yeah. I, I was reading like how that thing is just like going through the roof, but I think everyone's going to... Would I do it like with full excitement? Like, hey, yeah. and then they went into yes. outer space. Or would I be like... No, no. I think you have to do it. Let him like do his radio. He's going to do his radio voice for you. Okay, go. go hey, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for tuning in to another fantastic episode of no, It's a Hawaii it Thing. <laughs> 
Sounds like you're puking. <laughs> Lanai Tabora <laughs> is here Puk live. Puking. That's what I'm Growing up all over the mic. No one listens to Turtle. Yeah. Yeah. One of my no favorite one. audio books is uh, Craig Ferguson. I think he's like a genius. Uh, he's a night funny. host and everything. Doesn't he get canceled from every no, show he he's on? Oh, okay. He quits. He just gets tired of doing it. Got it. But he has you're thinking accent. of the other dude. Pierce Morgan. Yeah, Ooh. Pierce Morgan. Okay. But he has that uh, British accent. Yeah, yeah. And it's just I'm hilarious. Her. Oh, I'm yeah. Harry Potter. No. <laughs> no, not that. <laughs> no but you guys do an audio book. I'll do an audio book. Yeah. I, th so part of Draft to Digital is they give you an option for audio book and then they set you up with an audio book company. Okay. <laughs> and so that's rad. I mean, I really can't say I'm enough great things about Draft to Do you know digital. them? No, I just, oh, I, you just found I researched a ton and every single person that's done self-publishing has mentioned Draft to Digital and they are... The apex of awesome. Their customer service is fantastic. He's only asking because Lanai is doing his book. That's what that's yeah. what I heard. I just finished writing it. I'm if, in first edit. So you could so with them you could you could self publish on Amazon yourself, right? And then they'll just put it everywhere else, or you could just go with them and they'll put it everywhere, do all the work for you, and you could get uh, print books made from them. And do they help you book like signings and stuff? No. You have to get a pub. Uh, you need to do that. To so. Do that, yeah. I mean, but you're here unless you want to travel. You can probably call. Aren't Barnes you and like go, a born travel. PR company? I'm, I'm anyway. going to travel too. Like, yeah, that's but, what but you I do. mean, it's always good with these companies because they can just schedule you. Like, okay, you're going to do this, 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 is this. I don't have to do all the work. Totally. You know what I mean, so you know what you can do is this is what I'm doing, and I'm going to start next year. Is uh, when it's a little safer to travel. Yeah. Um, I've found a whole bunch of literary uh, conventions and science fiction conventions, ah, yes. along with my nerdy, you know, Comic Con conventions. And I'm just going to go to those. That if I can get if that, if I can get them to take me there, great. Uh -huh. If not, I'll just go and sell my book. Because I know I have a ton of uh, uh, author friends and writers who have tables at these conventions and just talk oh, their books. There you go. So that's fun. Yeah. We can go together. We I'd do love like to. Your book and my book, we you know, split the cost. We can I, share a room, cuddle, I've been simple I'm bed. Not, I've been I'm telling her <laughs> she needs to do a book. She, she really should. needs to do it. Uh, that, that Donald Trump guy um, bounced a check to her. <laughs> and, and, and I thought the, the cover of the book should be that bounced bounce check. check. Would now, be so why dope. Why are we talking about? Oh, you would sell. You and would sell millions right now. My out the wife gate. is so smart, and she's so well spoken, <laughs> and is such a great writer. And I'm not just blowing smoke because I have to, or she'll beat me up. But she would write the funniest book on planet Earth, yeah, and it I would be brilliant. I, I've been telling her for years you should write a book. It'd be a nine chapter book, eight of them on me and how great I am, especially because <laughs> I'm a Jew. We gotta and, go, Tori. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming by. Hey, Tell everybody the name of the book hey. again. It's Spaceship Earth, and next time you, uh, you turn on your computer or a uh, pad, oh yeah. Uh, and if you want to follow I nasty had. stuff on social media, follow him on Instagram Don't and do Facebook. It, Hawaii. it gets pretty brutal. Yeah. <laughs> Brutal. Join us for the extended version on YouTube. It's a Hawaii thing. Thanks, Tori. Hey, thanks, Lanai, for having me. Yay. Boom. Wife. Bye, Suga. <laughs> this gal. You gotta give, her, give him some knuckles. Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing, the extended version on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe and leave us a comment down below. Don't We'd love comment. to hear from you to see where you're watching. <laughs> uh, oh, maybe you want to ask Brooke where she got her jacket nope. from. Nope. Or where Tori got his haircut at. <laughs> yeah. He's yeah. got a new book out we just discussed, and uh, it's out now. You can get it on Amazon. Yes. Any other platform? Anywhere. Barnes & Noble, you can get Nook. Uh, what, it, it, wherever you can no, get an ebook, okay. you can get my book. All right. But Amazon seems to be the easiest for everyone. Now, what did you do on Hancock? Um, I was a production secretary. So the pecking order of life is, you know, it's a production assistant who's the slave of the set and then production secretary and then uh, APOC, uh, assistant production coordinator, production coordinator, supervisor, blah, 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 blah. I had a very comfortable life as a production <laughs> assistant for like 13 years because I was able to work the system so hard. Yeah. I was making as much money as a coordinator, which is three tiers above me uh -huh. with zero of the responsibility. And I driving never, a DeLorean. Driving a DeLorean. I might add. So I was the PA with a DeLorean, but yeah. I, I never really <laughs> wanted to. PA with a DeLorean. I was a PA with, I yeah. would go to, I would go to uh, uh, Dom DeLuise's house, if anyone remembers of him. Of course. And Charles Nelson Riley and uh, uh, Ernest Borgnine. I would go to his house uh, and we would sit there and just talk about my car for hours. It was so dope. I worked, I first started at MGM Animation. Okay. And I worked on All Dogs Go to Heaven. Oh, really? Yeah, and so all these guys were the voices, all the like classic Hollywood actors. You grew up in Hollywood. Born and raised in yeah. actual Hollywood, California. Right, right. And yeah. it, 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 people think it's so big, but it's really a kind of a small It's community. like Hawaii. Yeah. It's it super small. It's, yeah, very it's like small. everyone knows everybody. And everybody totally. knows everybody famous. Who was your in your high school? 
Uh, that we all know. Well, in grade school, I went to school with uh, Drew Barrymore. Yeah. So I grew up with her, and we were friends for a long time. She's awesome. She's I great. love her. Such a sweet gal. Uh, I went to school with Jason Bateman for a little bit. Did you? Yeah, but my best friend, they were like neighbors. So Justine and Jason, we kind of What all, happened to Justine? She just chilled out. She just actually, Brooke and I saw that she- We're not having this conversation. Well, I'm going to have it. <laughs> Justine- Why? Uh, I loved her. Such a sweet gal. Yeah. It's like, she embraced getting old. Uh -huh. She did no like face work, no nothing. And she's like, boom. And I think two weeks ago, she's like, this is me. I'm- 50 whatever and you know she looks older uh -huh. but she's like I don't give a shit this wow. is what I want to do I gotta look her up she's sweet she's on social media yeah I, she's I, doing a whole I, campaign now about like do you, you know, keep not in touch altering. with her no I haven't seen any of these people like if I run into Jason Bateman I guess because he's married to Amanda Anka Paul, we all like grew up together Paul like, Anka's daughter yeah. oh really yeah. yeah my show right now is Ozark Oh my oh, gosh. gosh. Seriously? I when do you have time show. to watch Ozark of all shows? Like at midnight to five o'clock in the morning. I'm <laughs> You're binging. binging. I'm binging. <laughs> yeah. I watched I, the whole season in a week. I started watching it. That's then dangerous. It. it was, it, it took me uh, uh, maybe like three shows to get into it. That's what bums me out. It's like every yeah. show that I know, if you can get past that fourth episode, yeah. it's like the best thing ever. It's but so it's good. A, it's a grind getting to it. Yeah. It is really good though. Maybe you have a couple drinks or something. And just and go for it. it. Yeah. Just relax. <laughs> smoke that uh, Pacololo? Pacololo? No, What's that called? No, you had, it right. you had it right the first okay. time. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm learning all these dope ass so, terms. So yeah, if you yeah. were in the parking lot at Whole Foods and you guys ran into Drew Barrymore, would she give you the, I don't, give me the context? Drew's actually a very uh, strange cat because we <laughs> literally grew up together and spent, you know, forever together. And she would always sleep over our house and stuff. And, she would, 100%. I'm like trying to think because <laughs> Amit uh, dated her best friend Justine forever. So Drew knows I know me. Amit. I know Amit. You know Amit. Zappa. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. that's right. That's right. We talk about it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So Amit and Justine dated forever and Drew and Justine were best friends. Drew, uh, just Justine's best friend Justine is Bateman. Melissa Bochco, who is doing. Stephen uh, Bochco. She's kids. producing with her brother the new uh, Doogie Howser show. The Kami Oh, yeah. Yeah. You should go to that lunch. Please, I need they're to, coming I'm to town to, at the I end. Get, of I think the they're here already. Oh, are they in town? I need to get an May. audition first. Yeah. yeah. So you know, I've dropped enough names for one episode. No, I have. Yeah. So you grew up in these like yeah. people, you know, and that's. Like, I feel what like it is. Brecken uh, would be a little upset you didn't drop Brecken's name. Well, you know, like uh, Brecken, Brecken Myers, like your bestie, bestie, bestie. <laughs> yeah. So tell everybody who Brecken Myers is. Hey, Brecken Myers. I don't know. He's in like fucking every Everything. show. Oh, I swore again. It's he's okay. in every show, like in the world. He's a character actor, and he's like the star of like a million different TV shows. He was in the Garfield movie. On movies, Robot Chicken, and Robot if you know, Chicken. Yeah. he was in a uh, what's the the high school one that Rachel was in? Uh, the Craft. No, no uh, he was in the Craft, but what was the one that uh? Clueless. Yes. Oh, Why I love that. I have to he know was the little stoner movies. guy. That's not yeah. my so, best friend. So you're, you're you. That's who you grew up with. Well, we grew BFF? up with together. So yeah. they're just whoever to me. But you know, yeah. I've known Brecken and Amit since I was two years old. So yeah. you know. And what high school did you go to? I went to a school called Bel Air Prep that was in West Hollywood, which was kind of like the Punahou. It was a private school. No, it was, it was definitely the mid pack. <laughs> <laughs> so if, what is the school on on uh, Melrose? That high school? Oh, that's Fairfax. Oh, that's Fairfax. So that's a and that's, that's a, a public and school. And that's a public yeah, school. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, but, but no. So what is the other one close to it? Oh, Beverly Hills High. To? No, is Hollywood. Hollywood no High. No one went to Hollywood High. <laughs> no, <laughs> everyone, everyone went to that Beverly Hills High School. That is not a true school. statement. There well, are people that went to Hollywood High. Yeah, because I thought a lot of people did. Go no, 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 no. They're Every all painted on the side of the wall of that place. No, 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 no. Okay. Everyone went to uh, Beverly Hills High. Yeah. Just because it was a public school, but it was in Beverly Hills, and everyone had fake addresses so they can all oh, go to go that to, school. Okay. So you know you had these like affluent families that are going to. The did school you grow up in Beverly Hills? No, in Hollywood. Oh, yeah, okay, Way to pay no, attention. <laughs> damn it. No, because I, you know, like a district. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, no, no. So I'm, I'm like in Hollywood. Right off Sunset and then, Boulevard. And then the like next town the... over is West yeah, Hollywood. It's like and one then block Beverly over, Hills. it changes zip it's, code. Yeah, yeah, totally. It's really weird. Like you could have a house on this corner in your 90210, and literally across the street is a million dollar difference because yeah. you're not in that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. So it's wild. But yeah, I'm born and raised there. That's my home. I miss it. I have this. This is actually the longest I've not been in mm -hmm. Los Angeles, thanks to this stupid pandemic. Yeah, yeah. Because I usually go home like four or five times a year. Four or five. And now it's easy. like easy. Easy. Because like, Jonesing. I Jones. I miss my friends. I miss a variety of food, which I can't get here. Yeah. Uh, we're having, we have a we're great, having the Scott Conn conversation right now. We have a great variety right of food here. Yeah. He's, what are you talking he's about? He's like Scott and the rest I'll, of those, I'll, I'll, Matt Fox, so all those people you. that complain you, about being here. The, the Asian food here is some of the yummiest on planet Earth. Yeah. The Hawaiian food is fantastic. Yeah. 
I love one of my favorite, my favorite comfort food on planet earth is deli food. Yeah. Jewish there's deli. No, there's yeah, yeah. zero Jewish yeah, I'll give delis you that. here. I'll give you that. And that's what I love. Why don't you open a deli? That's what we did. So here's the thing. Here I thought about go. it and I, oh, here we go, Hawaii. Here, <laughs> this is what my lovely wife knows about me is I get an idea and, then, and I throw all the money at it and then I stop. All my money at it. All her money at it. So well, I, I we started just put some money on some horses. <laughs> if we win, let's do a deli. Done. Because the Kentucky Derby is today. Okay. Um, but I want to, I started, I was going to do a pastrami thing and I was going to call it Marv's Deli because my dad was named, and I guess it's, he's dead, but Marvin <laughs> Mel is my dad, okay. um, who's buried here in Punchbowl. Mm -hmm. Is he? Um, but I'm someone that I like to be the face of something. I want to be there. So why don't you call it Tori's Deli? Well, because my dad's my dad and I love him. I want to be like up front and be like, what up? And like hang out and manage the place. Tori I don't want to look deli. for the. But he doesn't want to cook, and he I don't doesn't want to cook. I don't want to like do any of that. Wanna, I want to be. He doesn't want to work. He just wants to be the front guy. So you, have, we have to find a guy that knows how to make all this good stuff. Totally. Well, you yes. know, but that's the problem. Is so there's no pastrami here that's good, and I have a distributor in LA who would, who does like all of my delis. The rye bread's a problem. Rye bread's a huge problem because mm -hmm. there is no rye here, uh -huh. and so I need to find someone here that can emulate it. Crack the code. Crack the code. Yeah. Um. So deli's my favorite. I love Middle Eastern food. What's your favorite deli in LA? Arts Deli. That's the one oh, I yeah, arts. was in Studio City. I grew up, Arts and Cantors. Cantors on Fairfax, which is famous. Uh, I would go to on the weekends with my dad, and then I'd also go uh, when we were in the Valley. How about in New York? Uh, New York, I, I love uh, Katz's. Katz's is, is too much. It's too much, but like the experience. And the place that- You're uh, not an East Coast guy, though. I'm so. not. So my favorite- it's Carnegie Deli, which closed. I love, yeah, it closed. They're gone, but I went there right before they closed, mm. and they blew my mind and changed the way I eat Reuben sandwiches now. How do you eat them? So if you have uh, Reuben sandwich, if anyone doesn't know at home, it's uh, you get it on any bread, but you get it on rye or you're a failure in life. <laughs> it's uh, rye bread, uh, get a pastrami Reuben. It's usually with Swiss cheese. I get it with cheddar because I hate Swiss cheese. And sour uh, sauerkraut it's and uh, Russian Harry sauerkraut. met Sally. It's like with Harry so met Sally. So I went to guy. Carnegie in New York uh, back in 2010. I think it was. Uh, I don't. Who cares when it was? No, it wasn't 2010. And um, I ordered a, a Reuben at Carnegie. They brought it out open faced. Oh. So you don't have to eat it like a sandwich. Yeah, yeah. It was the rye bread with the. Uh, Give you a knife and a fork. Knife and a fork. You had the pastrami. You had the sour uh, sauerkraut. The cheese melted over the oh, whole thing. Oh my goodness. Oh! And now then the I side of eat. the Thousand Island. Now and I'm I like, want to. We had a guy. What was the guy's name? He made the amazing pastrami from scratch. On your show? Yeah, on our show. He was this guy. Uh, That's rad. He made pastrami on your show? Yeah, from scratch. It was awesome. Wow. Yeah. Ma on Maui. Yeah, our Maui is coming up. Huh. Anyway, amazing. the crew, like, demolished it. I'm sure. Like, everybody was, because we yeah. didn't get it all the time. Totally. So, you know what I did? There's a thing called a gold belly. Have you heard oh, of yeah, that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Gold belly's awesome. So goddamn it's expensive. Genius, genius though. <laughs> it's the best. So, yeah. one of the, the best pastrami in the United States of America, voted by everyone, and I even think it's probably my favorite one of my favorites between arts they had it's on gold belly on gold belly i had langers and i had it shipped here they'd give you the whole kit with the the rye bread the pastrami yeah. the sauerkraut everything it was like four million dollars <laughs> but it was great <laughs> no how it much was it really i want to get one i think it was like 150 bucks oh or something my like that God. How but much is feed? i think it did like six sandwiches but pastrami sandwiches are super expensive yeah, if yeah. you go to any deli that sandwich is going to be you know 20 bucks 24 dollars right. so Comes yeah, out. It works out just You're fine for, for that. The shit, but it, did it taste fresh? It was amazing. It came in. It came in its own little cooler bag in a box with a, it within a thing. I'm it's trying like to a, get my friend. He's a, he does this. Uh, you remember on that movie um, with Rob Schneider? Uh, he he played the gigolo. What oh, Deuce Bigelow, Deuce male gigolo. gigolo. So he, you know he's half Filipino, right? So he said, "Oh yeah, it's just like my mom's raspberry bibinka." So when we do our pop up dinners, the chef that I work with, he made raspberry bibinka, which Filipinos don't make. Yeah. And it's like the hit. Everybody wants <laughs> Fusion the Fusion. So we make it all the time. So gold I told belly? Him, I was just telling him like the other day, gold belly it. And he's like, what is that? I said, you ship it anywhere in the world, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So they, I mean, I don't know how their system works, but I've, you know, I've, I'm friends with the people that own Arts Deli in Studio City. They're uh -huh. my, you know, I've known them my whole life. Uh, my dad did the air conditioning in Arts Deli. That's really? how, like, my blood, sweat, and tears of so family. So you, you don't have them send you stuff? No, well, I do, but, like, not all the time because it's super expensive yeah. to ship here no matter what it is. But I told them, like, get on Gold Belly. They're like, we don't make any money on it because they take so much. Uh, yeah. That's the problem with Gold Belly. If you're someone that wants to sell your food. But they could actually do it themselves without using that. Oh, totally. I mean, I, I, whenever I, I'll call Harold or Roberta and I'll be like, yo, I need, you know, rye bread and pastrami and rainbow sprinkle cookies and black and whites. And they'll be like, boop. And send it to me. And it's great. Yeah. And it comes here in like two days. It's awesome. Um, there's no Middle Eastern food here. Yeah. I love Lebanese food with a passion. And there's zero. There's a, 
I'm not even no, going to name the place here. that. I, I, it's kind of because it's Don't trash. say the name. I won't. I hate it. Okay. For, um, the, for the great food truck race, All Stars, the truck Middle East, Middle Feast. Yeah. They're, they're like well known in California. They have like seven trucks. They're on the. This the last season. time? Yeah. Oh. Did your yeah. thing air? It's coming up. Yeah. No. Uh, oh, no. Well, by the time this, this goes, airs, yeah, it aired. It yeah. aired. Did you win? I don't know. You have to watch. <laughs> This freaking guy. <laughs> we went to uh, dinner for, uh, I'm telling you at home, for Brooke's birthday, uh, for her 50th birthday. Why and, are we saying the numbers? And, and, I, and I asked. Wait, just so you know, I'm not even, I wasn't I, uh, allowed to say it. I, yeah. You're mad at me, I'm, you said it twice. So, uh, oh, it's funny. When we were adopting the cat yesterday, uh, she was writing all the information down. And it was like, how old are you? And she wrote 50. And I was like, you know, doing something. I looked over. I'm like, ah, look at that number. <laughs> I'm super so into much. granny porn. What do you want I from hate me? I so much. <laughs> Help me. Hey, to be fair, I'll be uh, 47 in a month. And I look like seven years old. Oh, older you're, than her. you're dating a cougar. A cougar. Wow. Why does this end up at my doorstep you're all dating the a time? Cougar. I didn't know that. Totally. Yeah. I mean, it's great. So wait, what happened at your her birthday? Oh, no, nothing. Oh, so I was Googling I was. Zoom. grilling no. you about oh, who won oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and he That's would not break so all of you legal beagles out there he didn't say a thing but i i i looked in his eyes because i'm a gambleaholic and i'm like i know what happened i'm not going to say anything because you know i'll let you know when i'm right you have me back on again and i'll tell you i'll be like dude see i told you now you Oh, uh, for sure. Uh, gonna... sure uh, as soon as you're sick, he's the one day you're nope. gonna be sick, and I'm gonna swoop in. <laughs> nope. I'll even let them call I'll me come Tori in here Lee. With an IV you know box. what? You don't nope. even have to be sick. We're just gonna have <laughs> <laughs> divorce. So yeah. So look, at the end of the day, I love Hawaii. It's neat. It's gonna give me skin cancer, and I'm gonna die here. I've 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 learned. So here, I've the policy is paid up. My, just so my you know first, Hawaii. my first. So we've been here three years, and my first like two and a half years, I've hated this place with a passion because why are we talking about this on air because no, i don't but, but i you don't like care. it now it's, it's so okay. that's what that, yeah, so yeah. that let me finish right. oh yeah. bitch uh, <laughs> the uh i love it. she never um, lets me finish can i, I say that it. yeah yeah, yeah. No. Uh, no, 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 no brothers yeah. wait what yeah. um <laughs> No, and I, because I just missed my home. My dad had just died. Yeah. There's no, the so it had nothing to do with Hawaii. It's just, just no, and I, and but I also realized, you know, I nice, I, I'm a tourist here. I will always be a tourist. I will always be someone in the military. Not unless we get I, you that tattoo. I need. <laughs> well, see, now I'm glad I didn't get it because <laughs> I'm gonna kill myself. Is I want Keone to, to tap me so so. I want him to nope. tap me so hard. So yeah. So nope. just so you guys, what we're talking about is Brooke calls me one day and says. Uh, my husband wants to get a tattoo from Kenny News. I was like, what? Did he get permission yet? <laughs> did you ask, Did you ask your mom? Remember yeah, we had that yeah, conversation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like a whole thing. Well, and then he was like, I can charm them. It's fine. So take me down to go see Keone. So I take him to Waianae. And he's this guy. Oh, Not, you guys did go. It's fatter. So then we're down there. Oh, he's yeah, we hung sweating out like he's in church, right? Because <laughs> we were literally in a church, I think. Because yeah. that's where they were tatting at the time. And cutie has got zero nonsense for anybody. Yeah. He's there doing his tattooing. And he's looking at this sweaty holly guy standing over him and he's doing this what you guys have all he witnessed is, loved me. he's doing this and keone's just like he was the nicest know. guy in the world he is and i i would still i'd be stoked because i still want more tattoos he's like i want a tattoo like, no. and keone's like did you ask her family and he's like why do i need to ask her family he goes because you're not hawaiian and yeah. he's like but my kids are Hawaiian. He goes, I'll tattoo your kids anytime you want. <laughs> <laughs> but we're not talking about your so kids. Cute. I was like, I don't want anything Hawaiian. Like, I want Ultraman tapped into me. <laughs> Ultraman. He's like, Jesus. you go talk to her Molokai family. They give you their permission. You come back here, I give you a tattoo. And sure totally. enough, he goes and asks them. They're all like, no. Nope. <laughs> I, 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 my, one, of my, one of my favorite in-laws no. is a... Uh, is, is, uh, uh, Butchie. Butchie. Yeah. And uh, and she's the best. And she, I like brought her to tears. And you she didn't was, like, tell me no. the ending of the yeah. story. I mean, he like, because they were like, he was like, I really, this means a lot to me. I really want to do it. And they're like, no, no, no you I cannot. know. He called me. Well, you called me first and then you called me. Right. Yeah. And then I didn't, that's how the end of our her. Yeah, no, because Keone shut it down. Yeah, so like, then that was kind of the end. And I'm like, well, it is what it is. I'll just go get other tattoos then. But uh, <laughs> what'd you get? I ended up getting. What so, didn't he get? Is <laughs> well, I have the a lot more. So uh, one of my my, I have two favorite shows on planet Earth: Stargate, which is my science fiction favorite and TV show, and it's a show. Hawaii thing. And it's a Hawaii thing <laughs> on uh, your local channel. I don't know where. Can I say that? <laughs> and uh, 
it's the best show. It's all about Hawaii and you know the one guy on it who hated it more than anything. No, and uh, and it's always sunny in Philadelphia. It's oh, my, what a great my show. favorite show in the history of television. I got a sunny tattoo on me because oh. every time he's not here and he goes there, you he get gets a tattoo. A tattoo. Yeah. yeah, but I have I have a new tattoo artist that I cannot wait to this get a tattoo from. This is not happening. His name is a uh, BK from Korea. Tattooer from it's Korea. not happening. Nope, and shutting it dope. down. You Let have me, to do your skull. No. I, of course, that's you do the your smartest head. thing in my face. I want to look like Takashi Six Nine <laughs> Post Malone. Oh, your mother-in-law before will love we, you more. Before we wrap this up, so I don't get killed the second I leave here, or someone sees me on the street. After two and a half years of not liking my situation and being here, I'm totally content. I'm happy. I'm okay with it. I, I've always loved everyone in Hawaii. I just, for myself, it wasn't for me because I can't go outside to the deli. I need my deli. So if I could be inside a deli, I'm fine. So I, to, to all you viewers at home, Hawaii's great if you can get through the two and a half years <laughs> on, the, on, that, on that two and a half year mark. It's your favorite There's place on earth. Disclaimer. Right. I tried surfing. I suck at it. It's a Hawaii thing. Yeah. No. yeah. It's a Hawaii thing. It's okay. Okay. You're it's a Jewish thing coming to a we go now? You know, Facebook near you. <laughs> Thanks for coming in, Tori. Lanai. Bye. I learned so much more about you. Thank you. Than I ever you guys knew. should I've known date. you for 15 years. I know. Or something. It's crazy. Well, how long have you been married? 15. 15 I've known you yeah. for 15 years. Because I, I kind of met everyone at the same time. So. Yeah. Legal Zoom. I, I love yeah. you, Brooke. Thank Legal. you for tolerating. Tell Angie I said hi. Zoom. I'm going to tell her I say hi. And I would love to meet Drew. Here's what we should do divorce. Is next time you're in LA, if we see Angie, you pretend you're I'll me be. and just go <laughs> yeah. in. Angie! You remember me? Yeah. I talked to you while you were getting married. You were going to get married, remember? Yeah. You're best yeah. friends. Yeah, married nope. women I love this. Anyway, I love what's reason. happening here. Yeah, thank the show you. looks great. Yeah. I love your, your team, everyone behind the camera. You're all amazing. Yeah. I want to be inside each and every one of you. Nope. Spiritually! <laughs> spiritually! And physically. All right. Um, Tori right. Mill, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, hey, buy my book. Uh, yeah, buy his yeah. book. Leave Spatial a comment Earth. below. Right. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. Mahalo. Divorce. Mahalo at your boys. Nope. Do people say that? <laughs>